The Locomotive Story, Season 1, Episode 12, The Ignorant Diesel. Why'd he even come back? He should have stayed away in disgrace. Very true. No point in bringing back a useless engine. Shut up, stupid steamies. You're both so ridiculously infuriating. It's surprising you went scrapped years ago. Aye, you do not talk like that, ignorant diesel. Do not be talking when you're not even any good. You stay out of this. I'll speak as I please. I'll show you all that I can be better than you lousy engines. You just have to wait and see. Look at the diesel leaving in a fuss. <laughs> Stephanie and Duck watched in amusement. Hey, Topham said you can't handle troublesome trucks. Oh yeah? Watch me. I can do a better job than you any day. Everything ran smoothly with him and the trucks, but danger light ahead. The signal was red. Whoa! Hey! What are you doing? Stop pulling me! Faster! Faster! Let's teach this diesel a lesson. Boo! You imbeciles! Stop! Stop! Whee! Whoa! Moderation. Later, Murdoch puffed by and gasped in horror. What? What happened? Are you okay there, little diesel? Of course not. These ignorant trucks ran me off the rails. I must go get help for you. But, but wait, there's a flatbed of pipes up ahead. Do not worry, I'll be fine. I'm a big strong engine after all. Crash! Bang! Wallop went Murdoch. Right into a field. Oh dear. Grrr! Oh, you steamies are useless. Meanwhile, Stepney and Duck were leaving the yard while pulling maroon coaches. Mew dear, the signal is red. You think something might have happened to them up ahead? It was most likely the Diesel's doing! And it's right in front of us! Break, Duck, break! Uh, no, no, I'm trying my best! Uh. They both stopped just in time. <sighs> that was a close one. We almost got into a horrible accident. Ugh. Ugh. What even is going on around here? Murdoch, what happened to you? I'd rather not say. Just please, get us some help. We sure will, Murdoch. And with that, they puffed away to phone for help. I've never seen such a mess. I'll get you back on the tracks in no time. Henry coupled up and started pulling Murdoch out of the field. Inch by inch, Murdoch slowly got back onto the rails. Whew. This is such a relief to have help, finally. I've been in this field with noisy sheep all day. Thank you so much for saving me. You're welcome, anytime. Of course I'd like helping my friend. What about me? I need helping too. You're not my friend, and you have to wait till someone else comes and gets you. Oh, great. I have to wait. Class 40 watched Murdoch and Henry slowly puff away as he sighed long and loud. But after a long wait, finally, help did come for the diesel. Help also came with Harvey to clear the flatbed off the tracks. My, my! What a catch! I'm here to push you back onto the tracks. Um, I doubt you can move me, but I guess you can try. Oh, yeah? Why don't you just say that I can't push you? With that, Max pushed the diesel with all of his might. 
these will be clear as soon as possible. Whoa, goodness. Ah, my backside! Watch it! Shut up, you. It's not my fault. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the help. No problem. I told you I could do it. Oh, that reminds me. I have to get to the yard and yell at a few steamies. Uh, see ya. <laughs> Dumb looking dump truck. Class 40 pulled into the yard, only to find out that Sir Topham was waiting for him. You have caused confusion and delay. Even though there was a flatbed of pipes, you still ran off with the trucks after I told you not to. Duck and Stepney here told me. You shall be sent away back to the mainland in shame, you silly diesel. With that, Class 40 raced away, shuddering in fear. I never wanted to be here. I'd break down before I ever come back. Bother. Bother. Woe is me. I give a big shout out to the whole cast, and I thank everyone who participated. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these. If you'd also like, please share it with your friends. And I will see you all next time.